Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And today we are about to go over or do a review on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and we have some arms gameplay in the background. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do any other backgrounds, but that's gonna be my main background. By the way, there's gonna be some stuff in the description down below, so check that out for some extra information that we may go over in this video. So, all right, let's begin. First thing that we're gonna start out with start out with is game modes. There's single player, multiplayer, online play, and wireless play. In single player, of course, you play by yourself, and you get to do Grand Prix, uh, hold on, Grand Prix, time trials, versus race, and battles. Yeah, battle. And in that, those game modes, it's actually pretty fun, by the way, all these game modes, because you get to kind of well, except for uh, time trials, which you get to do your own record kind of thing. But let's go over one one of them by one of them. One by one. Let's, f let's go like that. For Grand Prix, you go for gold in a four-race cup, which you, there's, like, different cups that we're going to go over later. And there's, like, different maps, and you have to, do, like, win, like, all the, well, the levels pretty much kind of I guess maps but if you have played Mario Kart before you would understand so yeah um let's go over time trials it's kind of like if you want to practice a map that's kind of hard like if you're drifting in a certain like uh, like during certain turns it's actually kind of difficult it's best if you do tri time trials I actually I am trying to finish 150 cc on all three stars which I'm going to go over later at the end of the video and um yeah and the versus race um you can race using your own custom rules i don't know exactly how to explain this but you kind of do your own thing there's like com i don't i don't know what that is but it is something so you get to experiment with that um there's also battle which i found the best like you get to do like different battle kind of game modes for example and those game modes are balloon battle renegade roundup Ba bomb blast coin runners shine thief and random battle well random battle is you get to choose whatever well it randomly chooses a battle so yeah and balloon battle up i don't and balloon battle you pretty much have like three five balloons something like that and you pretty much want to get as many balloons from the other team or destroy as many balloons as you can destroy everyone pretty much as much as you can and Renegade Roundup, it's pretty much, I think it's the one with the plant, where you get to, like, go next to people with the plant and you kill them and stuff. But no, not kill them, but you know what I mean. And in ba bomb Blast, you get to throw bombs. They, like, almost explode instantly. Not like the, um, not like when you do a race in Grand Prix or something. So, yeah. And then you pretty much want to hit as many people as possible. And in Coin Runners, I don't know if this is true, I have not played it yet, but I think you're trying to get as many coins as possible. So, yeah. And in Shine Thief, which I've played the most so far, is this. In Shine Thief, you try and collect, like, this star thing, kind of like a shine, I guess, and you're trying to hold it for as much as possible for your team. So, yeah. And in the Random Battle, of course, it chooses whatever Random Battle. And next subject, we have characters. I'm going to leave all those characters down below because those are a lot of characters. But all I know is there's 42, but it technically it's 41 because 40, the 42nd one is like a me or player kind of. Um, which you get to create your own, I'm guessing. Like a me player, like how, the, how they had on the Wii. Alright. Um, let's go next. Sorry, I have the paper and stuff, sorry. Um... Let's go over race speeds. Like, it's kind of when you, as soon as you click, click like, Grand Prix, it asks you 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, mirror C, well, 150cc, just like in a mirror. So it's like the map, or the level, and it's just like, the it's like a mirror version of it. So it's kind of like looking at yourself in the mirror, and you do kind of things, you know, you know what I mean. So, um, there's that, and there's 200cc where it's kind of difficult, but it's actually really fun when you're just playing with friends and having fun around. Play, well, playing around. So, yeah. And these, I don't know if this is true or not, 
But there is, I swear to God, there is a major difficulty differences. Like in 50cc, super easy. 100cc, super, uh, super easy. Kind of easy. 150cc, extremely hard for me for some reason on maps, which kind of get me mad. 200cc, I haven't really played around with that. Um, it's actually kind of hard. And 150cc mirror maps, uh, not really. I haven't. I think it's just it's just pretty much 150cc in a mirror map, so I don't really care. And the de- uh, next subject, the details in the characters, by the way, are amazing. Like, well, for a Mario Kart game and a Nintendo Switch game, like Mario Kart 8 handling on a Nintendo Switch, on like on the go and stuff, I get it if you play it on TV, but on the go, that's actually really fun to play on the go. Like seriously, come on, playing with your friends on Mario Kart on the go and not ha- and, ha- and having pretty good graphics for something like this. And it actually runs really well. I haven't like have it, hadn't had any um, glitches or any um, mis not misconceptions, mis or whatever, just anything has happened. But yeah. By the way, when you do grand prix or time trials, there are different cups, and I think I was gonna say I went over this, so I'm gonna name all the cups that you can go over, and I'm about to explain them. The first, well, I'm gonna go over all of them. Mushroom cup, flower cup, star cup, special cup, egg cup, crossing cup, shell cup, banana cup, leaf cup, lightning cup, triforce cup, bell cup, and bell cup. Yeah, those are all the cups. And uh, there's like four maps to each one, which I'm also gonna leave in the description because there is kind of a lot, so yeah. Um. And the three star thing. In order to get three stars, two stars, or one star on each cup, you need to, you like when you. It should show up as soon as. Well, if you play the game, you'll understand. I'm not really good at describing things, so it, let me just go with this. Um. Soon as you go into the game, there. As soon as you click Grand Prix 150C, whatever, whatever, you click your car. And there's like different, there's three stars once in a while. And are one star, two star, three stars, or no stars at all. And like a three star is you get first place in all those maps that have you can com- con- accomplished. That is what I'm trying to do on 150cc, which is actually really hard. But if you do like first place, first place, first place, third place, it could, goes down to like a second uh two star or a one star something like that so you have to get four first place well matches in a single cup to get all three stars so yeah and let's go lastly last of all pretty much uh wait hold up oh actually two things in the controls next subject controls the you can play multiplayer in a single console which i found really nice but I feel like it's too cramped when you're playing something like Mario Kart. Because like in Mario Kart, you got, you're like all tense on a, such a small controller. It just makes no sense. But like if you're playing on the go and you have a thing like a Nintendo Switch, and you have the comfort and the, you have you bought like some comfortable comfortable grips like I did and the little grips on the thumb thing, that is like amazing. So, like, that's the only way that I feel comfortable playing Mario Kart because it just I'm just making no sense right now. It's like 9 o'clock at night, and I'm actually kind of tired. I'm just trying to make two videos a day. So, yeah. Um, But I feel like Mario Kart should have done... Well, Nintendo should have done something with the controller, maybe? I love it when it's, like, on the TV, on the go. But I hate when you have to, like, flip it with two side people on a single console. Sorry, drop my pencil. Um, But when you're playing with, like, two people, and, um... On a single console, it just doesn't work well. So that's one thing. Um, lastly, the customization of your carts and stuff that you drive around, which when I played on a Nintendo DS and I played Mario Kart, there was no customization because it's, you're on a freaking DS. That's kind of old now. Like original DS, not some like what N- DSi or 3DS or 3DXL. Like, you, remember, you guys remember the DSi? 
I forgot about the DSi. I just remembered it at this moment. My friend has a DSi or something like that. DSi or something. I think that's the name. Like it was like a portable, uh, portable, port portable console that you could play with a camera. And that was like the best thing. Camera. Camera. So, yeah. Um, that's, you get to customize the cart, the tire, and the glider. And Mario Kart, the original, not the deluxe edition, and Mario and Mario Kart, you were able to drive and then you could fly in some parts. That is what the glider is. I'm pretty, because I saw in what, some of the comments and some other people's videos, they were like confused on what the glider was. And they're like, what is this? What is that? So, yeah. And then the tire, you of course, you know what the tire is and you of course know what the cart is. So, yeah, but there's like a, as soon as you finish like a cup or something, you get a, you get like one customization to get these coins. I don't know why, but yeah. And that's pretty much all I have today, other than you get a lot of customizations for like a bunch of parts in this game, which I'm actually very surprised about. So, yeah, that's all I have to say today, and thank you for watching, and peace.